So, said Miguel, did Andrew's weird uncle talk to any of you guys last night? He talked to me this morning, said Sierra, when I was on my way to the breakfast room. What did he want? Asked Kyle. He told me he could give me a go to college free card, said Sierra. Miguel nodded. Me too. And why wasn't I offered this card? Asked Akimi. Miguel shrugged. Maybe because I turned him down. So did I, said Sierra. What did he want in exchange for the card? Asked Kyle. Worms for his baby birds, maybe? Suggested Akimi. He didn't really say, replied Miguel. I turned him down before he had a chance. Me too, said Sierra. I also reminded him that winning a college scholarship isn't the only reason we're playing these games. Really? said Akimi, arching an eyebrow. What other reason is there? To prove that we truly deserve to be crowned champions? Oh, right, that. This could be part of the game, said Kyle. Seriously? said Akimi. Yep, Mr. Peckleman is kind of working for Mr. Lemoncello this week, running Olympia Village. And in Mr. Lemoncello's marvelously mysterious mineshaft game, there are devious dwarves who offer you cheat cards that let you do stuff like use elf shovels, even if you're not an elf. But elf shovels, you find out after it's too late, can't dig up diamonds, only gold. And you need a ton of gold plus two diamonds to win. Sierra nodded very slowly. You've played a lot of Lister Lemoncello's games, haven't you, Kyle? Enough to know that most of his cheat cards eventually come back to bite you in the butt. So what does that mean, bite you in the butt? What do you think? Enough to know that most of his cheat cards eventually come back to bite you in the butt. 